We were first introduced to our next guest, comedic talent, way back in the early noughties, playing characters including celebrity superfan Avid Merian to that rather naughty bear. But Lee Francis, who we'll meet in a moment, really hit the big time when he unleashed his alter ego, Keith Lemon, uh, clocking up a huge 30 appearances on this show. I'm a fire. <laughs> Can you just zoom into Nadia? Oh. Yes, that's it. That's the one. Yeah. I'm not mad. I just pretend to be mad. <laughs> Look how low they are. <laughs> are you Rod Stewart? Yes. Nice thing. About the panel. Not home. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. Yeah, yeah. Fireball. Uh, <laughs> well, none of that today because for the first time ever, it is the man behind the Keith. It's Lee Francis. <laughs> My hat's a bit big. Oh, nice well, that, though, isn't it? Yeah, um, Sierra and South, I think the company's called. They made me. It's They're slightly too street, big. I've got they? a very big head. If I didn't have shoulders, I'd just be a torso with a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> We're all like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is, so, so it's your very it. first show as Lee. How does that feel? It's quite the same. I've been on 30 times. I didn't realise I'd been on 30 times. As Keith? What a journey. What a journey. What a journey. How well, do we yeah. tell the difference? Uh, I've got no bandage, no bandage on. on his hand. That's right. the first um, thing. I'm not as stupid. I uh, don't <laughs> swear as much. Uh -huh. Although that author said throbbing three she times. Did. Yeah, yeah. 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 I said it a lot more in a yeah. book. Uh, it was all oh, have you read it? Oh, yeah. Have you read mine? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough sex in it, Lee. I've got to hear though. I've had sex. I've got two kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't describe the process in the way that Melanie. Um, no, no. Does. I, everyone's heard me. Is talk there about throbbing sex in your book? Just a bit of throbbing, but I was by myself. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> Blimey. Well, can I you... say hello to Jill, my wife, who's watching at home, and also Anna? I said I would. Oh. Um, oh. Can I just say that this is the only chance I'm ever going to get to say this, I think. Um, you're the only guest I've talked to that uh, has actually slept in my bed. Well, yeah. maybe not slept. Ooh. Been so in my bed. Do, been we, in my bed. We've done You've... keyhole. We've done keyhole. Yeah. You've been in my bed and all, and he made it. a right mess was... of it. Yeah, he yeah. made a mess yeah. of my yeah. bed, too. Yeah. Been in your house. You did Bow Selector? Oh, my God. When I was Avid Merrion, I remember um, Avid Merrion having a dream that he was a chat show host. And I think he asked you one question. He said, what is your favourite? What is your favourite? And then woke up. So we didn't actually do an interview. We just did... I just said, what is your favourite? And woke up and... I had the dream I was chat show host. Oh. It's a good story, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so how did it feel <laughs> to ditch... To ditch the character, it's quite to ditch the facade. It's quite liberating, actually. Or scary. I don't feel not up scared. I, I, people always think that I'm uh, nervous and stuff mm. and shy, but I'm not really. Mm. But I don't feel any pressure to be funny, which is nice. I think if you're a character, you've got to come on and, and cause mayhem, as we've just seen when I broke the yeah. desk <laughs> by accident. Yeah. Uh, and so now I can just relax, actually. And well, you mentioned your normal. wife. Mm, you're, so, remember, you're so normal. I, it says you. I remember <laughs> you at a party once. She came up to me, she went, what's my name? I said, Frankie, I was with you yesterday. Was she drunk? I think she was a little bit drunk. <laughs> was I? Can you say drunk at this time? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You drunk know what? and throbbing. Yeah. Throbbingly drunk. Oh, there's a lot about loose women you don't know, <laughs> even after your 30 I know a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> but, Lee, listen, I'm going to bring you back to your book. Yes, sorry. You mentioned <laughs> Lee, myself and I, and you, you did a shout-out to you wife Jill there mm. but you, you speak very personally in this book about some really difficult things yeah I, I think um, in the press release they said how funny it was but I didn't think it was funny at all the book because it's mm. it, like I say it's quite serious it, mm. there's there's death in there and stuff there's marriage there's having babies and and yeah loads of serious stuff mm. as well mm. there's some funny in there so don't go oh, I'm not gonna buy that buy it now also <laughs> I'm at the Grand Theatre in Leeds on December the 14th with Kate Thornton oh. Oh. in conversation with she's gonna be asking me about yeah. the shenanigans and a few characters might turn up and we'll sing yeah. my favorite Christmas song oh. Which what is, is it? it proper crimbo <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that uh, yeah. I know, and it, your dad died at a very young age. Didn't he was forty-seven, and the weirdest thing is that I'm older than my dad. That's yeah. a weird feeling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was a bit blurry. So when I was doing the audi audible, I think that's a audio word. book, o audio. audible, 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 or the audio audible book. sounds like I can order it. Yes, 
But it's the audio book. The yeah. audio, the audio, audio book. book was the hardest thing I've ever done. Because I've got too. dyslexia. Have you done it? Yeah. Are you dyslexic? No, I'm not dyslexic, but I just hated it. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take? Three days? It's like sitting in a phone box for, like, ten hours, isn't it? Yeah, just, just, just reading constantly yeah, yeah. aloud, which is different to reading in your, in your mind. Yeah, yeah. but it's also aloud. deeply personal. And then there's, um, there's a producer there, a sound... Is he called a sound producer? Yeah. Uh, that you don't know, and you're crying in front of him. Because mm. I, I was crying, and he says, oh, do you want to stop? I said, no, just keep going, because I said, I can't do it again. Why? Mm. Were you crying? Which bit were you crying? My Which dad? is the thing? Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, it's when you're hand. writing it, I can remember tearing up writing it, but saying it aloud, reading it, yeah, it's it mm. how horrific. Old were you, I felt. How old were you, Lee? When I was 21. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, God, it's getting serious, isn't it? Yeah. This is more serious. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'll start crying. But it is a <laughs> weird right, feeling when it. you when you pass the age. My father died when he was 46, and uh, I was 15. And, and when you pass the age uh, that your parent died at, it really makes you sort of think about your life. And did did you think you were going to die at 46? Yeah, I was yeah, sure of it, yeah. sure of it. Yeah, that's how I And in fact, for. I was found to have the same heart condition as he had, but luckily I was found to have it, yeah. whereas he wasn't. Mm. Yeah, I, I mean, I've got a couple of friends that have been affected by cancer, so we're planning to do an exhibition. Uh, a lot of my friends are artists, because I went to art college. So we want to do an exhibition and sell prints um, for Teen Unite. Are you Teen, U Teen Unite? I probably said it wrong. Teen U yeah, I think it's called Teen Unite, yeah. And we're going to sell prints of our artwork, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you also um, spoke about your wife's traumatic birth with your youngest yeah, daughter, well, was it? Jill's got Crohn's. Mm -hmm. So she had a flare-up of Crohn's. Wait, there's Jill. Um, isn't she beautiful? Oh, I thought she was oh, just okay. sitting in the audience. Yeah. No, it's on, my, on that screen there, Mario. Yeah, her looks gorgeous. like Winona Ryder. Oh. I, I always thought she looked like Winona Ryder and she thought I looked like Mick Hucknall. I said, <laughs> so, let, let's get married. <laughs> All gingers look the same, don't they? <laughs> uh, can you smell me? That's the ginger. <laughs> um, but, yeah, she's got Crohn's. I don't think people know how serious no. Crohn's is. Yeah. And it is life-threatening disease. It's horrible. I didn't realise it affected birth or pregnancy. Well, she had a flare-up then. She, yeah. she weighed more when she wasn't pregnant because um, she had Crohn's and was pregnant and she got so thin. Um, yes, yeah, she was terrible. She, yeah, they, they took me into a room. I'm getting all flummoxed. They took me into a room and they said, uh, we might lose one of them. And then oh, suddenly yeah. the doctor sounded like Charlie Brown to me. All I could hear was... Wah, 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 wah. Remember Charlie Brown's teacher? Yeah. And I was like, um, are you got any questions? No. And then I ran from the hospital at St Thomas's on the South Bank to ITV and did a pilot whilst all that was happening. Because uh, I went deep into characters, mm. Keith Lemon, uh, and then ran back. Mm. and took the bandage off and then became me again and dealt with that. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't deal with it. Jill's mum and dad were amazing, just helped me through it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, was Keith a little bit of uh, An a mask, if you like? Mm -hmm. All of the characters are, I think, because sometimes I think the world's a miserable place. And I'd like to think that people like myself are here just to bring a bit of joy. And I hate it when comedy's taken too seriously and people get offended by things. Just switch over, I think. If you yeah. I don't understand... I understand. <laughs> I understand people um, not finding things funny, just because we all have different sense of humour, but mm. I, I think you shouldn't get offended. Just turn it over. Mm -hmm. So why did you, you think you needed to ditch the persona yeah. then? I became 50, and funny enough, my 15-year-old daughter, she said, she doesn't speak like me, she's posh. Oh, she and, um, <laughs> she said, Daddy, I, I think this book is the end of a chapter. She's got quite a deep voice too, hasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> I think this is the end of a chapter and you're going to do different things now and it's the, the beginning of a new chapter. And uh, she sounds a bit like Chris Eubank, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she sounds like you give sound advice. She's, she's, she's got a lovely voice. She's really well spoken. <laughs> and uh, I said, are you in, your, in my mind? Cos mm -hmm. that's exactly what it is. It's like the end of a chapter, like, on, on to the next... I don't know what I'm doing next, but... Uh, you don't know. Uh, something to do with art, hopefully, I think. You, you know? do a lot of it, don't you, online and stuff? It's yeah. amazing. I've, I've got ad post. addicted to sewing. I'm addicted. Oh, did you? Yeah. My wife takes about three hours to get ready, so if I've got enough time, I just think I'll go into my room and go, see if I can make some trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some and then, then I've got different gloves on when she comes down. <laughs> oh, you won't wear them. You've just made them. <laughs> uh, oh, well, we're oh. looking forward to finding out more about oh. Lee Francis. Thank you. Thank you. Lee Francis, everyone. Yeah.